Love is not an instrument of convenience, it is a process of self-annihilation. Are you ready in some way to fall apart? You know, falling in love, it means something of you should fall. So, we need to understand this. If something larger than yourself need to happen to you, what you have made yourself to be, that is, your creation should fall apart, only then something of the Creator's creation will touch you. To be in love means just that, that it is not about your thought and emotion. A dimension beyond you has become a part of you. If it matures, it becomes devotion. If it further matures, it leads to dissolution. So, may we be blessed with this possibility that something beyond you happens to you. Life is a fabulous phenomenon for one who knows how to ride it, one who knows how to ride a wave. <laughs> you can see how fantastic and fabulous it is. One who does not learn how to ride it will get crushed by it, threatened by it. A really good wave rider, his dream would be a tsunami <laughs> What everybody thinks is great danger, he would like to ride that. So it is just a question of skill and competence. This is what spiritual sadhana is about. Spirituality is not a disability, it's a tremendous empowerment. If you do the right amount of work with yourself, you can ride any wave of life, in whichever form it comes. It is my wish and my blessing, every one of you should become wave riders. Whatever life throws at you, you should be able to ride it and know the joy of living because this is a limited amount of time. Anger is not action, it's just a reaction. In a state of reaction, you naturally are in a state of enslavement. We need to understand this, when something other than the deepest core of yourself determines what you do and how you are, that's enslavement. Well, anger is a sure way of being enslaved, but a whole lot of people think anger is a kind of empowerment. Yes, if you have donkeys around you, you might have produced some results with anger, but you try it every day, <laughs> after some time nobody will be around you. Who you are is entirely your making, so at least the way you are should be to your liking. If you're not even to your liking, ha, huh, why should the rest of the world suffer you? <laughs> this one thing you must do, this is a fundamental responsibility and this is something that you deserve, that you must be to your liking. That means, at least when you're alone, you are well. When we deal with the world, there are many challenges. But at least when you're alone, you must be a wonderful happening. This is something you must do. This is what spiritual process means, that you made yourself to your own liking. Well, some people will like you, <laughs> some people will not like you. But if you're not to your liking, then what is the point? This is what karma means, that your life is your making. Make it happen that your life is pleasant in experience to yourself. Once that happens, you will see in some way you will be to everybody's liking. There'll always be some people who dislike everything. It's all right, it's their freedom to do that. But the most important thing is that you are happening the way you want yourself to be. Let's make it happen. In engineering, I'm telling you, you must engineer yourself the way you want, otherwise what's the point of living here?